What's up guys, it's Kay with 3 Print Technology. So this past weekend we have been at ERRF 2019, the East Coast Brit Prop Festival in Maryland. And I'll have a full walkthrough video coming soon, sometime next week. I will try to keep the intro short for now, but they had some of the biggest 3D printing vendors up there. Prusa, G-Create, Print Solid, E3D, etc. Some of those type of vendors. So as with these events, most of these are on weekends like ERF or Maker Fair. And obviously Saturday busy days. So here is the opening. But there is one vendor I want to focus on for this video. It's Prusa. Princess booths are easily the most popular ones anyway since they are one of the biggest brand names in consumer 3D printing. But at this event they had announced a new 3D printer and it's the Prusa Mini 3D printer. I got a pamper right here from them that has all the information on it. But I also got crypts of the new printer in action and some of their booths with the other printers as well which I'll be showing in this clip. But I'll go through some of the key features and stuff I saw up there with the printer. So this is obviously a small printer than the MK3S. And it has one Z-axis motor and so the two separate ones. So that's the two major differences with this printer. It's a small form factor like I guess it's like many 3D printer, but it has different features than that one does, but it's the closest one I can compare it to. So the very bottom is 18 by 18 by 18 centimeters or 7 by 7 by 7 inches. That is a slight decrease of roughly 6 centimeters from the MK3S version. The hot end and bed temps can only get to 280 and 100 degrees Celsius respectively. So that's a step down from the MK3S. Also I found interesting is that they're using a 32-bit custom electronics board instead of using the OT Machine rainbow board. And I'm sure there's some disagreements on that but I found that interesting. It's also a Bowden style extruder. They replaced the monochromatic LCD of a 2.8 inch graphic 65k color screen. It can only print with PLA, PETG, ASA, ABS, and FREX for now. I'm sure that can be changed in a firmware update, maybe. It has an optional upgrade for a filament sensor. There's a power pack feature, but it's for a future software upgrade. It can be connected to an Ethernet connection. Wi-Fi connection as a separate upgrade. It has three thermistors instead of four. The print medium and firmware updates are done by USB drive instead of USB port and SD card, so that's interesting. Not sure if I like that. And it uses 160 watts of power instead of the 240 that the MP3S has. And the starting price as a kit is 349 US dollars instead of the 749 US dollars for the MK3S version. So this printer is marketed as a low cost compact 3D printer. I'm sure if you're a professional working for the 3D print, you probably go to a MK3S version or an SLA type printer. My idea of this print is going to be for a beginner hobbyist or someone that's looking to save on space. But I like a garage or big workshop they can put a printer in. But that's the sense we can wrap this video up. I uh, hope to be able to get my hands on one of these printers soon and test that for myself. But let's have to see how Prusa's time frame works out for shipping because most everybody knows they don't have a arrival or a shipping schedule. But yeah, it's going to wrap up the video for this week. The walkthrough video is coming probably next week. Anyways, if you like to be on the series first, make sure you click subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.